केसी जी सी टी वी देख रहे दर्शकों मेरी प्यार भरी सत श्रीकाल मैं हाँ प्रोफेसर समरीन सिंह फ्रॉम द डिपार्टमेंट ऑफ फैशन डिजाइनिंग खालसा कॉलेज तो मैं तीन साल हो गए ने इस प्रोफेसन तो हूँ मैं पोस्ट ग्रैजुएशन की है चंडीगढ़ पंजाब यूनिवर्सिटी वालों तो अज का टॉपिक है फैशन एटीट्यूड टूवर्ड्स द प्रेफरेंस ऑफ ट्रडिशनल इम्ब्रॉयडर्ड गार्मेंट्स क्यों ये लिता गया क्योंकि ट्रडिशनल इम्ब्रॉयडरी जी है अजक वो बिल्कुल ही ओपसलीट हों जा रही है लोग उन्होंने वेख नहीं रहे लोग नई चीज़ा वाल जा रहे हैं नए फैशन वाल जा रहे हैं तो इस दे उत्ते एक रिसर्च की गई है कि ट्रडिशनल गार्मेंट्स में कि लोग प्रेफर करते हैं उस तो पहला सू पता होना चाहिए फैशन की है फैशन फैशन इज़ द फॉर्म ऑफ सैल्स एक्सप्रैशन अपने आप में किमें प्रजेंट कर दौ एंड अनोटमी एट अ पर्टिकुलर पीरियड एंड प्लेस इन स्पेसिफिक कंटैक्सट ऑफ क्लोदिंग फुटवेयर लाइफ स्टाइल एसैसरी मेकअप हेयर स्टाइल्स एंड बॉडी पोस्टर फैशन सिर्फ कपड़े नाल नहीं हैगी फैशन थोड़े तो हेयर स्टाइल नाल भी लिंक है फुटवेयर नाल भी लिंक है मेकअप नाल भी लिंक है सब कुछ सब नाल लिंक है तो फैशन आता जाता रहा है पुराना एक एक फैशन की लेयर आएगी वो चली जाएगी फिर दोबारा एक फैशन आएगा पर कुछ चेंजेस हो गए जिमें पुरानी तुम कोई शर्ट वेखोगे वो फुल स्लीव होएगी नई नए फैशन वो स्लीव चेंज हो जाएगी कॉलर चेंज हो जाएंगे डिफरेंट टाइप्स ऑफ स्लीव आ जाएगी इस करके फैशन टाइम टू टाइम चेंज हों आता रहा है चला जाता है फिर उस दे चेंजेस करके फैशन आता जाता रहा सैकेंड वट इज़ स्टाइल मोस्टली क्वेश्चन मोस्ट ओबियस क्वेश्चन जो लोग पूछते हैं स्टाइल तो फैशन में फर्क की है तो जानते हो वट इज़ स्टाइल स्टाइल होंगे जो पर्टिकुलर वे फैशन हों सारी मार्केट डिमांड के नाल चलता है स्टाइल हों जो पर्टिकुलर वे तो अपना परसनल वे है तैयार हो अपने आप को प्रेजेंट कर ठीक है किमें अपने कपड़े पाते हो किमें उसको कैरी करते हो उन्होंने स्टाइल कहते हैं फैशन तो स्टाइल की फर्क है फैशन अपना इंडिविजुअल है तुम अपने आप को प्रजेंट करते हो ठीक है तो परसन स्टाइल है अप तो फैशन है जो सारे ग्लोबल ट्रेंड्स न मीट करता है ठीक है फै फिर हो है टाइमलैस वर्सिज ट्रेंडी ठीक है स्टाइल इज स्टाइल इज टाइमलैस वाइल फैशन इज़ टाइमली स्टाइल थोड़ा अपना परसनल है वो जिनी देर मर्जी तो तुम जिनी मर्जी तरह अपने आप को प्रजेंट कर सकते हो जिमें यू वॉन्ट टू वेयर जीन्स डेनेम्स ब्लू डेनेम्स विद वाइट शर्ट वो तुम जिनी बार मर्जी पा सकते हो इफ यू वॉन्ट टू लाइक फॉलो क्लासिक्स यू कैन फॉलो क्लासिक्स बट जो ट्रेंडी है जो फैशन में फॉलो करता है वो एवरी फैशन सइकल जिमें ही फैशन चेंज हो उसू फॉलो करेगा तो मीन स्टाइल मीनस अपना जो भी तुम पर्टिकुलर स्टाइल पाते हो करते हो अपनी परसनल प्रेफरेंस है द फैशन इज जो भी ग्लोबली मार्केट चेंज हो रहा है उसको फॉलो करना फैशन एटीट्यूड फैशन एटीट्यूड की है कि थोड़ी की प्रेफरेंसिस ने चीज़ों तुम ब्लू डेनिम पाना चाहते हो तुम सलवार सूट पाना चाहते हो तुम साड़ी पाना चाहते हो तुम फैशन फॉलो करना चाहते हो नहीं करना चाहते तुम नया कुछ क्रिएट करना चाहते हो वो एटीट्यूड है तुम ट्रडिशनल इंब्रॉयडरीज पाना चाहते हो तुम नहीं पाना चाहते तुम होर रगड फैशन पाना चाहते हो यह थोड़ा फैशन एटीट्यूड है ठीक है इम्ब्रॉयडरी वट इज इम्ब्रॉयडरी मोस्टली लोगों को यह भी नहीं पता कि इम्ब्रॉयडरी होंगी की है इट इज़ अ हैंडक्राफ्ट ऑफ डेकोरेटिंग फैब्रिक और अदर मटीरियल विद नीडल एंड थ्रेड और रियान इट इट कॉम्परेट्स अदर मटीरियल लाइक मेटल स्ट्राइप्स पर्ल्स बेड क्वेल्स एंड सीकुएंसिस ऑफन डन ऑन कोट्स कैप ब्लैंकेट्स ड्रेस शर्ट डेनिम स्टॉकिंग एंड गोल्फ शर्ट मीनस ए कोच भी चीज़ में डेकोरेट कर तरीका है एम्ब्रॉयडरी कि होंगे नीडल तो थ्रेड न चीज़ा कि यूज होंगे ने ए स्ट्राइप पर्ल्स ब्रैड्स कोयल्स सीकुएंसिस कि यूज होंगे कैप ब्लैकेट्स ड्रेस शर्ट्स डेनिम्स तो असं हूँ गौर फर मानते हैं कि ट्रडिशनल एम्ब्रॉयडरी साढ़े को प्रेजेंट ने इंडिया च आरी चंबर रुमाल हिमाचल प्रदेश चिकनकारी फ्रॉम उत्तर प्रदेश गोटापति फ्रॉम जयपुर राजस्थान कांथा बंगाल कसूती और कसूती फ्रॉम कर्नाटका कश्मीरी और कशीदा फ्रॉम कश्मीर फुलकारी फ्रॉम पंजाब पीपली फ्रॉम उड़ीसा चीशा और मिरा वर्क फ्रॉम राजस्थान एंड गुजरात एंड जरदोजी और जरी वर्क आरी 
Ari is done by stretching the fabric on a frame and switching with a long ending with the hook. These are the images showing what Ari work is. Banjara from Andhra Pradesh is usually made, done by Lamba Gypsy tribes of Andhra Pradesh. It is a mixture of a pleak work uh, with mirrors and bed work. Bright red, yellow, black, white cloth is laid in bands and joined with white cross stitch. Motives are generally highlighted by cross stitch. These are the, this is a pleak work and then these are the images of Banjara embroidery. Then there is Chambarumal, popular for its art and embroidery, uh, done in the little town called Chamba, which is located in the hills of Himachal Pradesh. Designs usually are based on nature, mythological articles of everyday use, and happenings of everyday life, animals, birds, and trees. These are the images of Chambarumal. Then the very popular chicken curry or chicken from Lucknow. These are chicken from Persian chicken and chicken is known as elegant patterns of fabric, which is originated in the city of Lucknow. Myth is that its origin links from Nu Jaha, wife of Jahangir. Great part of this stitches involves shadow work. Done with white thread on white muslin, which is usually called tanzeb, fine cotton, manmal or voile. Usually sheer fabrics showcases the shadow work of embroidery. Motives include beauties of animals and flowers, roses like, like roses, lotus, jasmine and creepers. The designs are for fine print, printed onto the fabric not with the chalk but mister, mixture of glue and indigo. Stitches that are practiced till date are tapichi, penchi, pashni, bakhya, geti, jhangya, muri, fanda and jalis. In English, these are known as chain stitch, buttonhole stitch, French knots, running stitch and shadow work. These are the images of the shadow work and these are the images of stem stitch, herringbone stitch, buttonhole stitch, double back stitch and pull thread. Next is Gota Bati from Jaipur, Rajasthan. It is form of applique in gold thread used for women's formal attire. Nowadays men also wear them. Small pieces of zari ribbon are applied onto fabric with the edges swing drawn to create elaborate patterns. These are the images of Gota Bati. Kantha, very famous embroidery from Bengal. It is an embroidery on many layers of cloth, like quilting with running stitch, also known as dharukha, which means designs or motives and are usually visible on the both sides. And there is no wrong and no right side and both are usable. Traditionally worn out clothes and sarees are piled together and stitched into quilts. Themes include human beings, animals, flowers, geometrical designs and mythological figures. Also found on salwar suits, saris, stoles, napkins, etc. Different type include Sujini Kantha, Lep Kantha, Archalata Kantha, Rumal Kantha and Or Kantha. These are the images of Kantha embroidery, Sujini Kantha embroidery, Lep Kantha, Archalata Kantha, Rumal Kantha and Or Kantha. Then there is Kasuti or Kasuthi. Kasuthi means Kai, kai means, ha, kai means hand and suti means cotton. Comes from the state of Karnataka but also used elsewhere on Kantivaram sarees. It is done with single thread and involves counting of each thread on the cloth. The patterns are stitched without knots so that both sides look equal. Stitches like Kanthi, Murgi, Neng and Methi form of integrate, integrate patterns. Gopura, palkuan lamps, count shells as well as peacocks, peacocks and elephants in fixed designs and patterns are usually made. These are the images of kas Kasuthi embroidery and the types of Kasuthi embroidery we do. Next is Kashmiri or Kashmi Kashida. It is used for firans, woolen kurtas and namaz, woolen rugs as well as stoles. It draws ins inspiration from birds, blossoms and flowers, flower creepers, jinnar leaves, gobi, mangoes, lotus and trees are the most common themes. 
the embroidery is made with one or two embroidery stitches mainly chain stitch which i have already shown on the base of silk wool or cotton satin stitch the slanted dance stitch stem stitch and herringbone stitch colors usually are of of white or cream brown deep blue sky blue maroon and rani pink these are the images of kashmiri embroidery full card is the very well known full card embroidery of punjab which means full means flower kari means work is the most famous ruler in traditional embroidery of punjab the base is hand spun or khadi with bright color thread that covers completely leaving no gaps it uses a darn stitch done from right side of the fabric using darning needles one thread at a time leaving a long stitch below to form basic pattern full kari stitches usually follow geometric pattern with green color as its base color these are the images of full kari next is peepli from arisa very less known it done with applique work and originates from peepli village in orissa and some parts of gujarat originally used for parasols canopies and pillars of for rathyatra rathyatra based on patchwork bright colors and pattern pattern fabric pieces are sewn together on a plain background design include human forms animals and vehicles different home decor items can be found such as lamp shades garden umbrellas and bed covers these are the images of very little known people embroidery shisha or mirror work originated in persia during 13th century and involved pieces of mirror in various sizes and shapes original pieces of mikka were used as mirrors but later started using thin brown pieces which in hindi means little glass done by elast interlacing thread with button hull stitch it is usually found in com combination with other type of stitches like cross stitch button hull stitch and satin stitch popular for cushion covers bed covers purses and decorative hangings as well as decorative borders for gowns these are the images of see mirror work zardozi very well known zardozi or zari work zardozi zar means gold and dozi means embroidery bought in by mughal invaders in late 16th century this this form uses metallic thread the thread consists of coiled metal wires placed in the right side of the fabric and couched with a thinner thread once real gold and silver were used on skills brocade and velvet fabrics the dozi is elaborated version of zari where gold or silver is embellished with pearls and precious stones gota and kinari these are the images of zari work so a study was conducted on teaching and non teaching staff of a staff of punjab university in 2015 on fashion attitude towards the preference of embroidered garments traditional embroidered garments so let's see what the results were so this was the pictorial questionnaire given to the teaching and the non teaching staff of punjab university and these were some of the results like sheesh uh, like the teaching staff would like to wear what teaching staff would like to wear with what embroidery so the conclusions were most of the teaching staff prefer preferred to spend their time in selecting their clothes before going to university and were praised for their styles of wearing the, by their colleagues most of the colleagues of teaching staff do not Im in imitate their styles of wearing clothes but they do imitate styles of wearing what were worn by the families most of the teaching staff prefer to wear traditional embroideries but do not prefer to wear it of their native state quite interesting most of the teaching staff thinks that thinks that the traditional embroidered garments reflect their true culture and heritage and the youth must preserve and wear traditional embroidered garments most of the teaching staff spends a part of their salary in buying traditional embroidered garments but they buy it from state emporium they prefer to buy it from trade fairs and local markets but do not prefer to buy it online 
they do take care of them more than the usual and prefer to get them dry cleaned and hand washed sometimes. Most of the teething staff prefer to wear them on regular basis twice a week and seldomly a month. They do not wear traditional embroidered garments again to any, any occasion as their status symbol. They think they stand out when they wear traditional embroidered garments. They prefer to do embroidery as and when they get time. So let's see out of all these embroidery, what do they prefer? They prefer from Panjara embroidery jackets or sweaters, saris from Kantha embroidery, shisha work from suits, shawls and stoles from Chambarumal, suits from Kasuti, stoles and shawls from Kashmiri embroidery, suits from Pipli embroidery, suits from Fulkari embroidery and suits from Chicken Curry embroidery. Let's see what are the preferences of non-teaching staff. So most of, the, more or less they are the same. Most of them non-teaching staff prefer to st spend time before, uh, spend time in selecting clothes before coming to the university and they are not praised for their style of wearing by their colleagues. Most of the colleagues of non-teaching staff do not imitate their style of wearing but are def definitely imitate the style worn by their family. Most of the non-teaching staff prefers to wear traditional embroideries but do not prefer to wear it of their native state. Most of the non-teaching staff think that traditional embroidery garments reflect the rich heritage and culture and youth must preserve and wear traditional embroidered garment. Most of the non-teaching staff spend the part of their salary in buying traditional embroidered garments, especially from state emporium, trade fairs and local market, but not from online. They do take care, take care of them more than the usual and prefer to get them dry cleaned and hand washed sometimes. Most of them prefer to wear them on regular basis twice a week and rarely sell them. They do not wear their traditional embroidery garment more than one time at an occasion as their status symbol and think they stand out whenever they do wear them. They prefer to do embroidery as and when they get time. And the preference of the embroideries goes Banjara, jackets and sweaters, saris from Kantha, suits from Shisha embroidery, shawls and stoles from Chambarumal, suits from Kasuti, shawls and stoles from Kashmiri, suits from Pipli, suits from Fulkari and Chicken Curry. This is how the fashion attitude towards the traditional embroidery was researched. Thank you.